this awkward occurrence with awkward entertainment. So we're going to be getting into reality shifters, a.k.a. psychotic shifters. The reason I call them psychotic is because the symptoms every user experience ties into psychosis, bipolar, schizophrenia. First, it would tie into a diagnosis of psychosis. Then it would develop into DID, schizophrenia, schizoaffective, bipolarism. All right, all right. So we're going to get into this video. Let's remember right here, right here. Now they suffer. Now they suffer because they did a quote rituals. That would be people who believe reality shifting were real was real. People who dived into reality shifting. They didn't have to believe it was real, but they dived into it. They continue to do it or they don't do it. But they still experience symptoms like hallucinations, smell, touches, seeing stuff. They experience delusions. Delusions that they have powers to create alternative universes and create people and shift to those universes by writing a script, putting it under their pillow, hypnotizing themselves. They hypnotize themselves. Or they'll do visualization games with their mind while chanting affirmations. Or listening to subliminals, which all subliminals are harmful. Subliminals is the English word for mantras. And if you know anything about mantras, they were used by, they, they're still used by Hindus, but they're used by ancient cultures, magical cultures. That use sounds and waves from sounds to connect with demons, so-called gods, so-called ghosts. Sometimes they will ask these demons ghosts for favors. That ties into law of attraction, law of assumption. Research that if you don't know anything about it. When I say research, don't try law of attraction. Don't try reality shifting. Don't try these methods. Just research it. Um, see the pros and cons. Look at the cons, because there's no pros. Once you look at the cons of, the, all, of all these new age beliefs, such as astral projection, lucid dreaming, um, quantum jumping, you have Tulupas, I'm saying the name wrong, but Tulupas, they are imaginary friends people summon that they actually see and talk to. And that goes back to, that suckers around to sleep paralysis. So, some people, a lot of people, when they have sleep paralysis, they see shadows ho hovering over them, watching them. Even after the sleep paralysis has gone away, they still see these shadows for a few minutes or however long. And some people, some people talk to these shadows. <clears throat> some people talk to these shadows. But as you can see here... Here, I stated a question. What happens to unrepentant occultists on Judgment Day? So people who are occultists, witches, enchanters, magicians, fortune tellers, astrologers, people who hypnotize others, uh, people who write horoscopes with tie into astrologers, Anything of that dark magical belief, magical belief, white magic, gray magic, whatever magic, it's all a coat, it's all evil, it's all from um, the fallen angels, from the devil. <clears throat> so people who have sleep paralysis, they also experience seeing shadows and talking to these shadows. And that's what we're going to get into in this video. And it's going to be a user, a user who says falsely he reality shifted. Because science, nor does the CIA, none of those entities prove reality system exists. They do not prove there are multi-universes. They don't even prove that there's a bunch of other Earths out there. They don't prove none of that. They've never been there. They've never built a machine to get there. They've never, been, they've never time traveled back and forth in time. <clears throat> so let's get into this video. And enjoy it. That's what I'm gonna say. <clears throat>
Now, this would be, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Vea, Vea Vitex, whatever his name is. He claims he shifted through a lucid dream before. We know reality shifting isn't real. We know it causes mental illness and health issues. Let's continue. You have a lot of liars all over me, you know, Reddit, YouTube. A lot of them do it for clout. Um, or they do it because they're commanded to by their father, the devil, their master, the devil. Let's continue. So this is, that's what his post is about, his shifting experience. But that's not him explaining a shifting experience. That's just his psychotic mind telling lies to others, spreading false information, about a belief that doesn't exist, that's dangerous and harmful to human beings, to the um, to the soul, dangerous and harmful to the soul. This is the same individual on a sleep paralysis subreddit. The last post he was on. Reality shift in subreddit. So he made this post on sleep paralysis subreddit maybe a month before he made the post on reality shift in subreddit. This post talks about him experiencing sleep paralysis since before he was a kid or since he was a kid, which I doubt it was when he was a kid. I believe it was when he was a teenager. He or she, I don't know who this character is, is it he or she? They got to be older than twenty something, and they have experienced sleep paralysis since they was a kid. Since that's what they say, so that's a lie. Only way to experience sleep paralysis is one trauma, major depression. Let me see what age he talks about experiencing sleep paralysis. He says I've had it since I was young. This was four months ago to the date of this video being uploaded. He's had a sense of young. Young, he doesn't say what age. So young could have been after he tried to do third eye, tried to do kundalini. Maybe he did some LSD, some acid. Uh, a lot of these hard drugs lead to sleep paralysis, lead to psychotic breakdowns, lead to daily hallucinations. I'm continuing to read. Second, third, third sentence. And you can believe or not, but I've talked to my um, sleep paralysis demon. It's more like a black shadow figure. I've only seen them if my eyes are open, though. I was scared S-less of them before because I thought they were going to hurt me. And you can continue to read that yourself. So he admits he talks to sleep paralysis demons. And this is before he learned about reality shifting. And the reason I say he's lying about shifting. And I know shifting isn't real. Reality shifting isn't real. That's why I call it psychotic shifting. Because you uh, shift from being sane to psychotic. Clinically declared psychotic. That's what they're going to declare you if you hold... These delusions of you being God, you can create universes, you can shift your mind to some far place that you created or didn't create. If you hold those beliefs, they're going to be declared psychotic, especially if they learn you've been seeing stuff. Being um, A lot of these people, most of them, all of them experience depression from doing all these so-called shifting methods and listening to subliminals. So you will be declared psychotic. And I know I got a few people out there that say I slur. I slur my words. That just means I have to slow down my talking. Because I trip over my words. Don't I don't exactly slur my words. <laughs> just a little sad note to those people out there. Talking about me slurring my words. 
I'll continue with sleep paralysis. So he talks to his sleep paralysis demons. He's a liar. Um, he's never shifted. These so-called shadow demons he talked to, they tell him horrible things. They are not his friends. He's not sane. He's not a sane individual. This isn't a lie. I believe he told about talking to sleep paralysis demons. I don't believe this is the lie. The lie is saying he shifted. That's that's the lie. Let's continue. But the fame, but not the cover of news week. Oh well, guess beggars can't be choosy. Wanted to receive attention from my music. Wanted to be left alone. Public excuse me. Wanting my cake and eat it too. And watching it both days. Fame made me a balloon. Cause my ego inflated when I flew see. But it was confusing. Cause all I wanted to do is be the Bruce Lee. A Bruce Lee. A few things. So what happens to the unrepentant on Judgment Day? I'll give you a second to think about it. What happens to the unrepentant, disobedient on Judgment Day when Jesus Christ returns? Let's continue. Yes, they burn. That's what happens to the unrepentant, psychotic people, delusional people, so on and so on, on Judgment Day. Let's continue this video out. Now this is unique. Reality shifting, conjuring utterly plain beings. It's just like a big Ouija board, and I will talk about that shortly. For a very short time in my next video, it'll probably be a two minute video, where I talk about how reality shifting is no different from playing with a Ouija board. And this is exactly what happens to these people who practice reality shifting, lucid dreaming methods. Astro projection methods, quantum jumping methods, when they do these rituals to these gods, to the devil, when they do these rituals against God, thinking they're going to gain something, this is what happens. You see creepy stuff, you have creepy emotions that's, that flare up, like anxiety, depression, and so on and so on. Being disoriented, confused, having weird vibrations. Vibrations travel throughout your body throughout the day out of nowhere. So they actually do see these things. Those things are actually there, but they can only see it. Now, once when a group of people play with a Ouija board, they all can hear. The demon scratching around, tapping on stuff. They can hear the demon knocking on the door. Or the demon may appear in front of them. Because they all have their hands on that Ouija board. Which Ouija board used to be called a witch board. Because witches used it to contact these entities. That people say are your dead loved ones. But they're always, they are always entities of darkness. Uh, oh my god, what is this monster? And of course, reality shifting, conjuring other plain beings. And this is very dangerous, and this is something you don't want to get into. It will cause you so much pain, so much trouble. With this, this, you, you know, don't get into witchcraft, light work, white magician, what, whatever. If it's not of God. And it's a, it has a spiritual aspect to it, like crystals, tarot reading, being a medium, third eye, all those different types of spiritual awakenings on YouTube. Don't get into it. You're just gonna, oh, you're just gonna suffer. It's just, oh, you're just gonna suffer. Let's continue this video out.
by giving you an eight second dream of your so called DR when it was just a dream. A lot of these shifters say they shifted, they mini shifted, they semi shifted, but they didn't go anywhere. They just had a dream and they lie and they're depressed and they lie and say they shifted and that keeps this whole dominoes pin fall or spiritual destruction going from person to person family to family just get out of it come to jesus get out of it i like, leave it alone get your mind back get your mind back leave it alone all right praise god all right i'm gonna end this out this is commonly what people see when they go through spiritual awakenings, when they practice astral projection, lucid dreaming methods, or reality shifting or quantum jumping. This is what they commonly see. It may come as two, three, four shadows. They may be skinnier or look a little heavier, but this is what you always see. You have those who talk to these things. I've seen um oh I've seen two reports so far. I know there's many reports of kids, young adults actually befriending these black shadows. It's not great to befriend these black shadows. I don't care how depressed you are. I don't care what type of hold these demons or spirits have on your mind. Where they can control your thinking, influence your thinking. It's never good to talk to these things. If you can become a liar, you can become a helper of the devil, you can be that person who sold their soul. Whether or not you're getting something out of pushing reality shifting, it's just plain not real and evil. Whether or not you're getting something out of out of it, you're still you're still worshiping the devil by saying you're you shifted. By talking to these shadows as friends, you're still worshiping the devil. Even though you don't have no big major music contract, acting contract. Just saying you shifted when you didn't shift. And talking to these so-called shadow demons. You, you get my point. You get my point. You still have soul your soul. All right. Talking about I slur. Well, I don't slur my words. I just talk faster than I can think sometimes. <laughs> so my words will come out twisted or fumbling and bumbling, stumbling over one another. <laughs> but they got me with that. They got me with that. I'm like slur. No, I just talk fast. I talk faster than I can think sometimes. Sometimes. And um, some people just make videos and wing it wing it so I don't have script writers I don't have writers we do this show how we do this show <laughs> so let me get up out of here this is about awkward occurrence or awkward entertainment and I will see you in the next video and Jesus does save Jesus saves <laughs>